Okay guys, I just want to do a really quick setup video. Um, I just did the unboxing yesterday and I mentioned that I probably wasn't going to, going to do a setup video but uh, because it's a journal and I really, I mean I don't typically like to put my, my journaling out there for everyone to see. So um, I said that I probably wasn't going to do one and I set it up and I'm pretty happy with it and I haven't actually started working in it yet so I thought okay I'll just do a really quick one just to show you the <clears throat> the original bones of it so it's gonna be really quick just um, not everything's gonna stay this way I'm sure and if I can figure out a way to show you an update down the road without without revealing everything then I will because I'm, I'm having a lot of fun setting this up so okay basically I just you know, added the inserts. I made one book. There are four books in here. I made one book myself, and the others are the the three moleskin that I showed you in the original video. And my cat's coming to say hello. Okay, uh, so the one thing I did is I added some charms here, and honestly, it's going to be. They're not all going to stay, I'm sure, um, because that's a lot to keep track of, but. So I've got my elephant and my tree of life and my feather, and it's just because I couldn't decide which one I originally wanted to put on. So they're all three on for now. And, you know, I just did it. They're just the little cheap charms, I think, from Michael's, and you put them on some some lobster claws. And I, It's really simple to do. Um, a lot of charms come with their own claws already on them, whether they be the lobster claws or the clasps, I'm sorry, not claws, um, or just whatever other class they have on them but if they don't come attached already it's really simple you just buy the little the clasps separately and then you can <clears throat> just use tools such as such as these and you just it's so simple I mean it's like I mean maybe two minutes and then you you're done so you know and you can get these in the same aisles as the as the um the charms and all the jewelry making section the whole jewelry making section over at Michael's so super simple to do yourself um, so that's easy that's how those are and then with the moleskins that I put in all I really did on those is I added my own scrapbook paper to them so I think they came out looking really pretty I really like the moleskins because they have this pocket here already in so, in case you do want pockets, but you don't want your your book overwhelmed with pockets, those are that's a really good idea. So, I just added this scrapbook paper, and I think it's really, really pretty. Nothing to go into. Um, if you really want to know where I got the scrapbook paper, I could try to figure it out, but it would be a guessing game because they came from this huge collection of pads of scrapbook paper that I have. So, but I'm really happy. So, here's another one that's just... All I did was cut it to size and I just used a little glue runner to stick it to the outside just here in the corners and along the edge so it's not sticking to your entire book. So if you can see actually, it's not entirely attached so if you ever want to interchange it, it's not going to hold on, as long as it's nothing too permanent in the glue that you use, it's not going to hold on too hard and you can change it out without actually hurting your moleskin. So that's what I like about this is um I like how <clears throat> I like how personal you can make it and how it doesn't have to be permanent. So because I've used a journal my entire life and I always get so tired of I, my taste is ever changing and I get so tired of the same thing and it's hard to change out journals because then you know you can never finish a journal. So I really like this concept. Uh, this is the book that I made myself. And I'll show you that. Um, in fact, let me... So I just threw a bunch of different scrapbook papers in here. Um, on the outside and the inside. So it's having a little bit of a hard time closing because it's mostly thick paper. But I'm working on it. And as it sits, I'm sure it'll get a lot better. So I tried the method of not binding the book. Because it's if it's already in this strap, then... It should hold it itself but because this I tried to make it about the same thickness as one of these moleskins then it became 
it started kind of pulling away from the strap. It was too strong for the strap. So this book stuck out a lot more than the other books did. So I decided to go ahead and bind it with this, um, this cord here, sort of like a, a, a twine, I think. Let me see. I actually still have my stuff here. Oh yeah. So it's actually hemp cording. And I just got this in the the jewelry making section, the same section I got these, well one of these anyway, but they have a lot of these. Um, and I just got a whole set here, so it's just neutral tone, so I think it would look good with my journal. And I got this at the at Michael's in the jewelry section. Um, and I, the holes, let me just show you real quick how I made it. I don't know where I got this tool, I just had it forever. It's like an ice pick, I think. But this tool comes in handy for quite a lot actually. So. Um, it's just a really sharp tip, if you can tell. I use that to punch the holes in it, and I just punched three. One, two, and three. And, you know, you could use a, a I think it's called a punching, I know, what is it? It's a board used for puncturing, and you can use one of those, but I did not because I actually find it just as easy. That's why I'm actually sitting here on my floor right now because I just threw this together. I find it just as easy to use the floor. It's a soft surface and you just lay this book down flat and you punch it and it works out perfect. So, And then I just used these, I believe, I don't know, gauge, 18 gauge, but these are the needles I used to thread the cord through. Also Michaels, I believe. And even if not Michaels, then you can find them at Joanne or Hobby Lobby, I'm sure, too. So, um, And I just strung that through maybe a couple of times through each loop. Oop. And then I tied it right here on the back. And then cut it, so it's no big deal. It's not super strong, um, but it's enough so that my inside pages are not pulling away constantly. And it's puckering, or not puckering, but it's was kind of pulling out, you know? And sticking out further than the other books so that eliminated the problem and I'll just show you really really quick I'm in love with the scrapbook paper that I used here I try to keep all very neutral soft tones and I used some this is like a it's not you know I don't know what the, the paper quality is but I got this set here of these really soft tone pages and they're not I don't know if they're full cardstock heaviness but they're almost cardstock so I threw in some of these because they're just really soft tones and this came from the same set here and I liked how it kind of pulled all the colors of the scrapbook paper together if you'll see so on the inside you've got this double-sided I only used double-sided scrapbook paper so that I could still write and still have colors because I hate white pages so I made sure to do that and then I just tied in all the colors so and here's another piece of scrapbook paper. I can't necessarily write on it. I mean, I could, but I wanted some pages in here where I could throw in some, maybe a photo or um, any sort of little scraps that I might want to write about. Because sometimes I find that I want to put little scraps or if someone special wrote me a note or made me a little piece of origami or something, anything, I just like to stick it in my journal. So I gave myself a few pages where I could do that. But then most of the others you can write in or you can stick things to. So here's some more. These are the three colors from that set that I got. This pink here and the blue. Sorry, actually I don't think I put any blue in. I think this is the back of a scrapbook paper. It is. So that didn't come from the set. But the pink and this brown here did. And like I said, it just ties in all the colors that I used from the scrapbook papers. And I think it came out really, really well. So again, another page I could write on and this one could catch scraps here's the back of one of the pages all the colors just tie in so perfectly another page for scraps and the edges if you can see are very rough still because I keep cutting them down to make them even shorter and um, I don't have a rotary blade so I just used 
this paper cutter here and it's really difficult after the book is binded to use that paper cutter so you know I'm using a mix of the paper cutter and the scissors um, and you know I'm finding that I actually kind of like the rough edges you know it adds to the whole rugged look of the book and it really works so okay I'm just I really love this page the way the flower ended up there and then this is just like the back of more of the pages so and I really like the words on this paper because it talks about um, you know family and emotion and feeling and intimacy and, and really sweet things like that it's not like a typical like newspaper or something it has some really meaningful words on it okay and then again we're to the back and that is the one that I made I'm really happy with it and after doing this um, I think I'm just gonna keep making my own pages because I, I really like how this turned out I do like having some moleskines in here just because of the pockets that's really nice so if I ever use these well when I do use these up I'm sure I'm gonna get at least one more moleskine so that I have a pocket without having to add extra pockets okay and then this is the last one I put this over my yellow moleskine so it kind of ties in the colors like this one it was hard to find something I like to match the pink but um, and then this one on the purple and then this one because it has the yellow little yellow flowers I put that on the yellow okay so I am really happy with the way these turned out but you can see I don't know why really this maybe I've just been pulling on this cord more I'm not really sure I'll just have to play with it I think I just have to adjust the cords because I've been pulling on this one a lot and altering it and taking it in and out so it when I first close it it sticks out more than the others but all I have to do is sort of wiggle it back in you know and then there you have it that's it that's my setup um, and I know it's gonna change over time and like I said I would really like to do an update down the road uh, we'll see if that works out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to to do a video with having written everything in it, but we'll see. Maybe some pictures, I don't know. So let me know if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Appreciate you watching. Bye.